Hello, I'm Ali with Core Medical Technologies. I would like to introduce you to the Core Review Indirect Calorimeter and to discuss with you specifically how this device can fit into your practice, how it will aid your patients, and to help you feel more comfortable offering this type of testing. I'm here with Julie Kofed, Registered Nurse and Vice President of Core Medical Technologies, who will give us a brief overview of metabolic testing with the REVIEW. So Julie, what is the REVIEW and what does it do? The REVIEW is an indirect calorimeter that measures oxygen consumption. Now there's a direct correlation between calories burned and oxygen consumed. In fact, it takes precisely 208.06 milliliters of oxygen to consume just one calorie. So if we can have a precise measurement of just how much oxygen you consumed, we can know how many calories you've burned in that same period of time. Okay, so with this precise measurement, we can know how many calories our body burns naturally. Exactly. In fact, normally we do this test in a resting state and we get a resting metabolic rate or resting energy expenditure. And that tells us how many calories we burn at rest. This has been the gold standard for nutritional assessments for over a century. Now, key word you've just heard is resting. For the review to accurately measure the resting metabolic rate, or RMR, the patient needs to be in a true resting state. It is important that they be allowed to sit, recline, or lie down while testing. Your designated testing area should be free from noise and distractions. Best results are achieved when testing is performed four hours after food consumption, when stimulants have been avoided, and prior to exercise. It is recommended that the test be performed by your office medical assistant. The clinician can then review the test results with each patient. Operating the review is incredibly easy. Once turned on, it runs through a self-calibration cycle. Make sure that no filter or metabreather is covering the intake port during this cycle. When the unit indicates calibration complete, simply extend the metabreather tubing and have the patient make a nice seal around the mouthpiece. Put on the nose clip to ensure that all the air breathed out is analyzed by the review. Let the patient know that if they need to remove the metabreather once or twice during the test to swallow or moisten their lips, it won't affect the accuracy of the test. Data from erratic breathing must be discarded, so the sooner a patient reaches a relaxed, steady state, the shorter the test. The average length is 10 minutes, but it can take longer for patients who struggle to relax. When the test is complete, the review will beep. You simply dispose of the metabreather mouthpiece, enter in some basic data, and the results are ready to print. You will then be able to customize your patient's calorie goal, depending on where they are in the weight loss process. That's metabolic testing with the review. It's quick, easy, and anybody in the office can do it. So why is it necessary to test someone's metabolic rate? Well, traditionally, clinicians have used predictive formulas to determine how many calories a patient needs, whether they want to lose or maintain their weight. But metabolic rates vary significantly from patient to patient, and studies show that even the best formulas are off for 40% of the population. So how does this translate into patient care? Well, consider this sample of actual female patients tested by Dr. Robert Kushner at the Northwestern Obesity Clinic. As expected, 60% of those tested had resting metabolic rates that were plus or minus 200 calories of what was predicted by formulas. But 30% had RMRs that were lower than predicted. If their calorie goals had been based on these formulas, they would have actually gained weight. One woman's RMR was so low, she would have been eating an excess of 700 calories a day. What about the 10% at the other end of the spectrum? Even significantly underestimating caloric needs can be a problem. If the doctor has unwittingly made more drastic calorie reductions than intended, especially during maintenance, the patient may be thrust into a state of deprivation, and the next thing you know, they've fallen off the wagon. Even those who are considered normal will have varied results, because plus or minus adds up quite quickly in terms of calories. Consider being on the wrong end of that 200 calories a day error. In one year, that adds up to over 20 pounds. So statistically, some patients will gain a little, some will stay the same, and some will succeed. When you see numbers like this, it causes you to wonder, why would you ever put your patient's success to chance? 
An actual measurement of their caloric needs is the only logical path to long-term success. So how can RMR testing fit in with your practice? Let me walk you through how to make the review a powerful tool for you and your practice. Consider these four applications for a baseline RMR measurement during an initial exam. First, assess. By accurately pinpointing just how many calories your patient needs to consume to lose weight, you will be able to screen for those who fall outside the norm and need specialized treatment plans. Second, teach. Using a patient's own results to show them how their body can truly burn more calories than they consume puts what would otherwise be theory into real life. Studies show that this is the ideal circumstance to elicit behavior change. Third, refer. Armed with the proper medical assessment, your patient is now ready to be referred to a weight loss expert. You may have a program set up within your practice, or you may want to refer to a bariatrician or community-based program. Your core representative will be happy to assist you with this next step. And finally, manage expectations. If you are managing patients through the weight loss process, you are aware of the importance of managing expectations. When patients start a program and lose less weight than they hope to in the first few weeks, they will likely fall out. Studies confirm that unmet expectations is one of the highest causes of attrition. An RMR measurement allows you to predict each patient's weight loss at each phase of your program. That way, the person with the slower metabolic rate is prepared rather than disappointed when they don't lose as much weight as their friend with a higher RMR. So how can the review help troubleshoot weight loss plateaus? The review test can be helpful during the acute phase of weight loss if the patient stops losing weight, what we commonly refer to as the plateau. Now, a plateau can be especially frustrating both for the patient and from the clinician. Generally, a plateau is caused from one of two reasons. Sometimes a patient's metabolic rate has decreased due to changes in body composition. When this has happened, it is important that you get back to a negative energy balance by either decreasing calories or increasing exercise, and a review test will help you know just how much of an adjustment needs to be made. Okay, so what is the other reason? Well, more often, complacency has crept in over time, and patient compliance really is the problem. Now, confronting a patient about your suspicions regarding patient compliance can be tough and can sometimes cause some animosity between the patient and their caregiver. By using the RMR results to show the patient that their body is still burning enough calories to lose weight, the data of their own body confronts them regarding program adherence. The machine is the bearer of bad news, the bad guy, if you will, the practitioner can maintain the role of cheerleader and supporter and talk about portion sizes, hidden calories, mindless eating, and other issues that might be getting in the way of their weight loss. Your patient will be back on track before you know it. Studies show that after significant weight loss, a person's metabolic rate is depressed below what their lean body mass would indicate it should be. Researchers suggest that is why it is so easy to gain weight after dieting. Testing every eight to 10 weeks during the first six months of maintenance allows you to monitor for changes until their RMR stabilizes. Core has created a website, metabolictarget.com, that helps clients to put RMR results into action by creating a diet plan based on their specific needs. You can track their progress and help them stay in their target metabolic zone in order to achieve their goals. At Core Medical Technologies, we are committed to helping you implement metabolic testing into your program. Our corporate website has a library to answer a variety of questions that you, your staff, or your patients may have regarding metabolic rate and weight loss. We are also available to personally assist you by phone or online at core.com.